We often talk about the fact that the data economy is taking over. I want to bring uh, an example of how we work with clients on data sets and the value we're able to extract from them. So my thought goes back to a recent engagement with a client on the East Coast um, that we work with uh, in the banking industry. And they had a very specific question for us and a number of our peers in the industry. And they said, look, there are some five or six questions that are on our minds. We'll each give, you, we'll give each of you, um, you know, a terabyte plus of data from our real life application. And we'll spend three hours telling you sort of what the data is about, what are the questions we have, and answering any other question you might have. But then, for the next three days, we'll give you three laptops, the data set that we'll give to you, and then we want you to work in your own group to be able to harvest that and come back and see if you can help us answer some of these questions. So we were one of many different teams that sat down with this client, and actually we assembled a team of nine that composed of data engineers, data scientists, domain experts, and really critical thinkers around the process. And uh, one of the problems the client was facing with, and I think the traditional mindset had been, how do you make sure you get more of the active trader, the 35 to 45 male uh, engaged and provide the right compelling experience to them? But because we approach this from a data perspective, not necessarily from, uh, uh, from an interview and an experience perspective, what we're able to do is was actually dissect the data in many different ways and actually bring out some of the questions that the client didn't know to ask. As an example, one of the things we realized that it's actually the sub-segment of that population, which are actually women that are 55 to 65 years old and have $250,000 or more of investable assets. And when they come, when they start the journey with this uh, institution and they're on, on this page on their online application, you know, they, they, they break, the process breaks twice for them. They try something and then they stop. They try it again and they give up. And then immediately following that, we see two phone calls or a couple of phone calls that come from them. And, and at the end of that process, we see that they actually doesn't result in an account being set up. And we can tell very quickly there's a problem at that part in that phase for a segment of population that we hadn't really thought through um, in the same way before. And so that, that insight comes from a data-oriented mindset. It comes from being very objectively looking at what the data represents and engineering it, applying data science to it, extracting insights, doing hypothesis generation, doing feature extraction, managing feature erosion, and then pulling all of that together in a way that it gives us these nuggets, these, uh, these insights that we can act upon. And once you have that, you have to overlay that with process experts and domain uh, SME subject matter experts that can then contextualize that. And in many ways, it's transforming the way we do re-engineering of, uh, of processes. In many ways, it's allowing us to rethink how we reimagine solutions for client in a much more compressed, much more focused fashion. So the value of combining customer journeys with data science and with domain expertise, that coming together of those three principles really drives the unlocking of value and the catalyzation of the business impact we're talking about here.